Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. And today, I think we're going to take on a One Skull mission. Uh, I know we failed our first mission. We did okay in the last two. I want to try and take on a One Skull mission. Today's a capture base mission. And we're going to go after this one here, manufacturing facility. So it's 790000 in contract payment, which is excellent, and 417 salvage. Since we're doing pretty good for the month, I think we're going to go for... Uh, Primarily for all salvage today, so let's negotiate this out. Going to go maximum salvage, 182,000, which is a nice little chunk of change. It should cover our drop costs and any repairs that we incur. But uh, let's drop in here. We're going to use the same lance, obviously, because we don't really have anybody else. And uh, let's deploy and get this done. All right, here we go. So this is the same map that uh, we played on with the very, very first mission in our last episode, or our last uh, series, that is. And we're just going to reserve back again. And while we're waiting to uh, move up here, I just want to say, uh, please feel free to drop a like and yep. please subscribe. Um, definitely uh, helps me out. Uh, encourages me to uh, make more of these. Not that I'll, I'll stop, because I really love uh, doing this right now, but um, come on. Here we go. And uh, please feel free to make uh, some comments. I always love chatting to people uh, about road tech and um, possible ideas. Okay, let's see if we can get in here. It doesn't look like there's any turrets. So it's going to be mechs, it looks like. Four mechs, probably. And then another four later on. So we're going to have to take these guys down fast, I think. Because the reinforcements will come up quickly if we're not careful. So I'm going to go up this side, I think. Yeah, let's go that way. All right, so we got one light and one heavy. Got a heavy mech, really? So that's their scout there. Let's reserve. Okay, is that another light? Yeah, it is. And let's reserve again. Let's let their heavy go. If he decides to go. That's the heavy there. How far is he moving? Not very far. Okay, the heavies that I've encountered in this uh, particular version of Rogue Tech uh, have all been um, really old heavy mechs. So old catapults or hectares or stuff like that. So I'm not that worried. We're going to... Um, I'm going to play a little cautious here. We're just going to move up and we're going to brace. Um, let's get our Jenner on this, more on this side, I think. Brace here. Let's get Pylon. Um, I want to up a little bit further, I think. And then let's get Cold Metal. Can't really go too far, unfortunately. Wait, is this trees? It is trees. Let's go up in here. Just want to make sure I'm braced in trees. Get that maximum damage reduction. So we got two lights. There should be another mech back here. Let's reserve. That guy can't see us yet, so there's no point in moving on him. Okay, that guy can't see us either, so there's no point in moving on him either. Let's reserve. Okay, so there's a medium mech here. Let's reserve again. See where this heavy goes. If he comes up this hill, we should probably engage him first. Yeah, I don't know if he's going to be in range with everybody there. I don't think we can... Well, if we sprint, we might be able to. Let's just see here. It's going to really depend on... Yeah, I think we can probably see him from here. If we get some eyes on, we might be able to shoot him. So let's try that. Okay, Hickory, your eyes on. No, look at that. I thought for sure we'd be able to get some eyes on this guy over this hill. We can go straight at him like this, but I don't think we'll be able to support fire. So maybe, can we get on, eyes on this guy over here? We can't really, can we? So I'm wondering maybe if then if we, let's just, hmm. I don't want to go too far forward and not have enough evasion. I can get eyes from here. 
Wow, that was a crazy camera move. You can get eyes from down here. Right? Stay in the trees. Let's see what we can do with this. Really, Darius? Yeah, we're seeing hostile contacts too, buddy. So this was a panther, I believe. And maybe it was a cattle master. Okay, so we got a thunderbolt and a thermal bolt. I hate the thermal bolts, by the way. So let's target this guy. And we're going to fire with everything. A couple hits. Not bad. He's got damage reduction on him, so... Yeah, so we can see. Alright, that's good. So let's move up. Let's get our medium lasers on him. This is a cattle master, so I'm not that worried about him. Let's just fire on this guy, get some initial damage. I'd rather shoot at him yes, Commander. and get those that uh, the thermal bolt off the battlefield, because that thing can heat you up real fast. So let's move forward, fire on him. Two good chances to hit. One, two, nice. All right, now I don't think I'll be able to hit him with, oh, I will be able to hit him with cold metal. What do you know? So let's get up in here. I don't want to go too far forward. And let's unload on this guy with everything. Nice, the AC connected, and so did one of the lasers. That's shocking. Okay, pilot head hit, nice. We might be able to get some catapult salvage here. Okay, so we have all of our lights to go before him. So that's probably... Hmm, Commando, Panther, something like that. Okay, let's get some destabilization on this guy. I want to get to a position where I can at least be defended. 56% not good enough for me. 63. If we get into a direct fire situation with this guy though, an 84. Okay, I'm going to take the 84% chance. I really want to destabilize this guy. Yeah, he's taking a lot of hits here. Oh, head's almost gone. So he's still got tons of armor, though. Alright, two more hits. He's unstable. Or did he get unstable? I hope he did. This guy's meleeing. Yeah, damn you. Oh, and the head, too. Really? Damn it! Damn, damn, damn. So this guy's completely unstable. So Hickory, you're next. Let's get your ass here. Copy that. Get some good evasion going. We're gonna fire at this guy with everything. I'm taking the shot. Pilot, lethal damage. Oh my god, yes. Thank you so much. I'll take the uh I think I'll take the uh thunderbolt before the catapult parts. Okay, so now we have to be very careful because they can still kill us. So, let's play the back game with this Cattle Master. If he wants to come in and melee my guys, he's going to get shot in the back for it. There you go. You are welcome. Okay, how do we do there? I think that's a little bit of leg damage. Oh yeah, nice back damage on him. Yeah. Alright, so let's follow up then this way get rid of my instability move down here we're gonna fire with everything but the LRM don't want to run out of ammo before the end of the battle ah wasn't what I was expecting okay so yeah it is a Panther 8Z alright behemoth um what if we play the back game with this guy? 56%. What if we sprint? Uh, we can get up on the hill here. 43. But I need to get rid of some my, rid of some of that instability. So, what leg is this guy damaged on? That's the left leg. So, uh, let's move. Perhaps here. This will stop him from being able to run this way. Get rid of my instability. I'm going to fire on this guy straight out. Nothing, really. Negative damage. I think that's the first time she's with, miss, missed with boast. She usually hits with something. Apologize for all my sniffles. I've got a little bit of a cold right now. 
Okay, so Hickory, I'm here. let's get you back so that medium mech back there can't see us. Let's move back into here. All right, full speed. And we'll fire on this guy's left side, hoping to take that leg, but we'll see. Okay, there's a couple leg hits. There it is. He's panicking. I don't blame him. He'll take damage in the back. And I think what we'll do is we'll use mm, cold metal probably with the big gun to try and take out his CT. Okay, that's an ultra auto cannon. I'm thinking maybe a Centurion with an Ultra 10, maybe. Or it could be a Blackjack with two ACs. That's a possibility. So let's move back here. And we will fire on this guy. We're going to go for, I think, since we don't really want any Cattle Master parts. Let's go all CT. Um, or we could go... We could go the Torso, I guess, too. Now let's go... Actually, you know what? What's the head got... If we hit with the AC, it's gone. No, it's not. Almost gone. Hmm. Alright, let's go CT then. And we'll fire everything. Okay, ammo explosion. Right torso gone. Oh, he's dead. Nice. Okay, we still got pylon left. This panther hasn't moved very much. So, uh, I think I want to save a little bit of heat. So I'm going to move in. I'm going to melee this guy straight out in front. On my way. Normally don't like melees, but it's a great way to reduce heat. Which this Phoenix Hawk is really enjoying building up. Yeah, I see that. Alright. Like so now we're four on six. So as long as it's not long range mech, why is that guy doing that? He's just basically trying to commit suicide here. Alright, let's get our Jenner back. Uh, hopefully... I think he's just going to be a spotter, this guy. So we need to blow this guy up fast. we got two good chances here. Okay, working on instability. Alright, let's get Hickory down here. Going to try and use this big rock here um, as cover. Hopefully, if they've got any direct fire units, they won't be able to see us. So she's going to unload everything. Just wish the Phoenix Hawk was this efficient with heat. So the Centurion's going to go next. So it looks like they got... It's either light or mediums. No, it's lights, because that was still a light turn. Uh, let's get this guy to here. It's a chance to hit from here. Pretty darn good. So we're going to move over this fire here. Once again, I'm trying to get this rock between me and the approaching enemies. So we are overheating. So let's leave the two mediums off. I want to get instability on this guy. Damn. Oh well. I was hoping to make him unstable so that um, Pylon can do some devastating damage to him, but I don't know what that guy is. I think it's. Just, I think I'm thinking it's a Centurion. But I'm not 100% sure. So we're just going to move here. Going to open up on this guy with everything. Okay, nice. Lost guarded. He's going to have to move first. Yep. Uh, I don't know where he was shooting that large laser, but sure. Whatever works for you, buddy. Okay, so let's get Behemoth back here. I want to keep her back to the rear of my units. So we're going to fire both missiles. Nice. Here they come. He's got some okay speed. Could be a panther or something. So this guy is damaged where? Mostly on the right side. But I don't want to expose my right flank. So we're going to pull back here slightly. Going to walk it back to save a little bit of heat. I think we're covered pretty good by the hill here. Fairly well, anyway. And we'll fire everything on this guy. Nice. There goes the torso. Oh, nice. Didn't, was not expecting that. Okay, so we're going to reserve and let that Centurion come forward. At least I think he's a Centurion. Could be a Blackjack. I'm pretty sure it's a Centurion. But we're going to reserve. See what they do. I don't want to stick my nose out just to get it cut off. 
So he's backing up. Is this back going to be facing us? It is. It's going to be facing us. Go. He's going to let our his back face us. So we're going to move over here and Got take it. an advantage shot at his back. And this is... Oh, it's a cicada with light rifles. Right. That would make sense too. All right. Got firing at his back. You want to turn your back to us? We're good with that. We're good with that. All right. We need to sprint up here. And I think the AC and the LRM... Tw uh, 10 is really all I can fire. Yeah, we're overheating anyway, so let's fire everything. Oh, I hit with the AC. Are you kidding me? I never thought I would have hit that way. No way. Alright, Hickory's going to push that guy back a turn. I don't want him leaving. We got some solid back damage on him now. Let's see what he's got left here. So... Yeah, we blew through his center torso back. A lot of leg damage. So, let's get Hickory up here. Uh, full speed. Gonna come around here. Gonna do an offensive push. I wanna push this guy back a turn so we all go before him. And let's just try for a CT hit. Unlikely we'll hit anything, but... Oh! Oh! We got one hit! I wonder if that was a CT hit. It was. Hastening his demise. Alright, Behemoth, we need you up here now. That guy's circling around. Can you see? Oh, you can. You can see directly into his back. Nice. So, 69% chance. There it is, folks. Okay, the main lance down. I only see two guys here now. There's the third guy. So, they are all light mechs. So the only difference now is we've lost a little bit of armor and we've taken some ammunition loss. So what do we got here? Wasp? Yeah, Wasp 1A, medium and SRM 2, and a Jenner A, large laser. So let's go after the large laser first. Leave one medium laser off. I'm going to fire the lower chance to hit because they do more damage. Eh, wasn't expecting much out of that. I repeat, negative damage. Okay, so we're going to move up here. Going to leave the AC. Um, you know what? We're going to end our turn. Going to save some heat. I want to use my medium lasers next turn, so... So I don't know where this guy's... He's coming down the hill, I think. I don't think he's in melee range. I was hoping for that. I wonder if we should just take a turn... And move to positions where they can't shoot us. Shoot us. Commander. And reduce our heat. Because they're all heat neutral, right? Let's move over here. Going full speed. Now, Behemoth's still pretty good. Um, we've got nine rounds left. Nine turns of firing, that is. So, let's just launch a couple at this guy. We might get lucky. Oh yeah, we did. Nice. Nice leg shot there, looks like. Not sure where he's going. Probably freaking out. I would be too if I was piling in a wasp. Alright, so let's sprint. Mm. Let's sprint here. Let's move. And I think we'll fire the lasers again. Just the two mediums. We're still going to be dropping heat. Doesn't cost us anything to fire, and we did actually hit, too. Alright, what's this guy? Is that an ER small? Or is that a tag? Could be a fire starter with a tag. That's actually, if that's the one I think it is, that's that's a good chassis. And another cattle master. Really? Really? Sure, why not? Just gonna walk it up over here, and we are we in medium range? No, we're not in medium laser range. We're just gonna brace, and then pylon. I want to get you down over here. Gonna sprint it, and then we're gonna end our turn on this side. So now we command this back hill here, and what did they do? Nothing. We're gonna reserve. 
So that Jenner just moved back. That's all he did. Okay, here comes the Wasp. He's still a turn away, I think. Yeah, he's still a turn away. Here comes the Cattle Master. And then let's reserve. I want to see what that last mech is. Waiting for my opening. Oh, I guess we're not going to see what it is. When did he move? Oh, well. Wasn't watching. Alright, yeah, Behemoth. Um, actually, Hickory first. Let's sprint down. And let's get into the... Ah, do we, let's get rid of the Cattle Master. Roger. He's like right here in front of us. Let's fire everything. Roger. I really hate this mech, the Cattle Master. It's like the worst possible thing. Alright, so we're going to get you into the trees. Let's keep our side guarded so if that wasp comes around. Gonna fire a couple missiles at this guy, 99% chance to hit. So what's his head, head armor? Pretty good. Do 34 damage. Do we want to go after? Let's just fire. Let's see how you like this. There's one, there's two. All right, gonna walk it down. No point in running. Walk down and get them all. Let's fire everything here. There goes the leg. And there's the knockdown. And hopefully there's the right torso. Okay, come on, that should be two pilot injuries. That's, I got ripped off. That's a rip off. All right. Uh, what's he got left in the CT? A whole lot. Let's... Oh, man. Really? Let's go for the leg. Why not? We might be able to blow his leg off. Fire everything. Ah, spread it around, buddy. Spread it around. Reporting critical hit. Side torso destroyed. Huh? Okay. Well, I'll take it. Not going to complain. Thank God he missed with the large laser. Okay, so let's get Hickory up here. I want to see what this other guy is too. So we're going to move up here, make sure we're not in the drop zone. Going to fire on this guy. Let's go for the leg, fire everything. We get it? I should have just gone for CT. Urban mech, two pepper box rifles, tagger, medium laser pirate, a couple of rocket launchers. Meh. Where is this wasp going? I mean, I, if he doesn't want to engage, cool. I'm fine with that. But really? Really? All right, let's move around here. Uh, Jennery got 74% chance. Cattle Master's got how much in the CT? Fair bit. Ugh. God, he's pretty much dead. I'm going to split fire with the uh, Centurion. So we're going to fire on this guy now. Maybe we can take that leg out. No. Do some good chunky damage, though. Get a proper AC, for crying out loud. <laughs> Thanks for coming out, buddy. Thanks for coming out. All right, so we are going to split fire here. Just going to walk over and I'm going to multi-target mostly everything on this guy and then rockets or missiles on B. Going to fire. Engaging. Oh, nice. I'm getting really good hits with that AC now. Okay, we should be able to blow him up. There we go. Leg, torso, pilot injured. Enemy Incapacitated, I guess. Actually dead, but whatever. We'll just pretend he's incapacitated. They what that's what they want to say. Okay, we're gonna back up. Get our stability back. We're gonna fire on the side of this guy. Let's drop the medium and small and fire with the big ones. Come on, kill him, kill him, kill him. Almost. Alright, what are they doing here? Yeah, he's gotta run. Dead man walking. Alright, Hickory. Let's get on this guy. Um, I want to make sure that we do not stand in that drop zone. 
Let's fire everything on this guy. I know we're firing from the one side, but that's fine. Let's get him worrying. Let's see what that wasp does, does here. Trying to sneak up from behind us somehow. You do you, buddy. You do you. We'll do us. Alright, so we're going to move down where? Forest? Right here? Moving out. We're going to have to move very far. Going to fire on this guy. Ah, one hit. Not bad. I think that was an arm hit. At least I hope it was. Look at that craziness. It's like shooting buckshot or something. Ah, my uh, kingdom for some flamers. Leg, arm, torso hits. Okay. Uh, let's split fire again. We're going to do this. And I'm going to do some vigilance. Only because I got plenty of resolve. I'm going to multi-target this guy. And uh, this guy. We're going to send... Uh, let's send the missiles to B. Actually, let's do this way. Two mediums to A and the auto cannon to B. Okay, there's the leg destruction. Oh, I missed with the auto cannon, really? Okay, so that pilot's unconscious. Well, not unconscious yet, almost. So, what has he got left in the CT? 11 points. Alright, pilot, he's all yours. Finish him up, please. Uh, I'm going to fire two. I'm going to go with um, these two. Get some heat back. Should be able to get a CT. There we go. Nice. One left target. That wasp is definitely taking his time to show himself over here, but whatever works for him. Uh, big six points damage. All right, let's get Behemoth going first. Um, we need to keep moving. So we're going to move up here. We're going to turn our torso slightly. And f and fire. 99% chance to hit this guy. There's the first one. There's the second one. Got some truck structure exposed. This guy's just going to stand there. You do you, buddy. You do you. I guess you really got no choice. So this side, actually, you know what? Hickory's going to stay on the side here. I'm going to back up a little bit, though. Don't need to be close to this guy. Give him a better chance to hit. We're going to fire everything on his side. Nice. There's a torso kill. You did. Ha 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 ha. All right, let's get up. Can we get up there? We can't get up there. Hmm. Let's just move back here. And we will open up with the AC and the LRMs. And we'll just fire on this guy straight out. Ooh, where was that 45? Thought that was a headshot. CT, I think. All right, pylon. Let's just step out and shoot this guy, keeping our torso turned to that wasp. Alright, what can we get on this guy? Can we get everything? We can get everything. I'm going to leave the small laser off, save some fire for the wasp. Firing on target. Come on, that should be enough. There we go. Alright, we got one guy left. Enemy down. It's taking longer than expected, but I would rather do this safely and not lose components. You know, they should really make it so that these last pilots, like this 20 tonner, why does this guy continue fighting? He should just make a break just make a break for it. And if he makes it to the edge of the map board, the game's over. Because really, I mean, honestly, what does he think he's going to accomplish by staying here? I mean, I know some, some mech lawyers will go down fighting. Wow, that was fast. Okay, we're off the, yeah, we're off the zone, right? We are, right? Yeah. I didn't think I was going to kill that guy in one shot. It's just reserve. We're going to let Pylon take this one. There you go, buddy. Boom. 
And that's it, folks. Another successful mission. mission. Alright, so I'm hoping for a Thunderbolt 15 in the scrap, but we'll find out. Plus 10% contract increase payment for destroying the local garrison. Excellent. 165,000. So that will put us into the green. And just barely minimal damage. We did take a head hit in the Firefly. So Shu will be out for 20 days, unfortunately. Which kind of sucks. And we do have a lot of catapult parts here. I should have checked in the bins to see what we have already, but I did not, unfortunately. So we got a thermal bolt. 30 heat damage. Plus one accuracy. Thunderbolt. Definitely going to take this guy. Nine tons. Now, the question is, do I want to go after... What else do we got here? We've got engines for cash. So this would be... Eh, not a lot there. 13% of that is what? 13 times 6. Eh. Almost uh, 100,000, I think, for that. So not that worth it. Anything good down here? Anything, anything, anything? Permanent cro cockpits. Double loads of AC-10 ammo. Uh, so I don't think there's really anything. I mean, the thermal bolt would be nice. Maybe I'll just grab it so we have it. Yeah, I think I'm going to grab it so we have the, it. Definitely want the fusion core, because if we ever need to sell for cash, we've got it on hand. So that's a bonus. And I think maybe what we'll do is we'll take one part of the catapult and hope for, hope, hope for more. So let's confirm this. All right, one, two, three catapult parts, two cattle master and a, and a panther part. Large laser minus, which is for, for sale. Light rifle, at four tons, 30. Oh, it's not, well, recoil at two, I don't know. Uh, medium laser, hmm. Hand, ah, well, not bad. Eight million in C bills. All right, let's have a look at the store real quick. So 14,000 in repairs, not too bad. With the exception of the head hit, so we have to wait till next month before we can get back into action, unfortunately. Unless we can find a planet that's 10 days away and we can hire a, a pilot before then, we can get back into battle before that. So maybe I'll look into that uh, before next time. Actually, we'll do it at the end of this episode, see if we can find some place to go. I want to have a look in the store, though, see what's new. And, ooh, Cattle Master parts. Let's get, let's get a couple of Cattle Masters. Cattle Blah, cattle masters. Uh, any, there's no, uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, fluid gun, not bad. Cypher's money, 50% sight, minus two accuracy for two turns. That's not bad. Um, LRM 15, LRM 5 narc. Those, there's those medium lasers again. Oh, no, this is a plus 50% crit. Uh, SRM 6 plus. Is this a bonus? This is a bonus to hit. See, my thought is this. Now that we have that Thunderbolt, um, Thunderbolt 15, we could take off. So let's go to the mech bays real quick here. There's nothing I really want to buy at the moment. Well, there is, but I don't have the money for it. So my thought was, is that we take off, the Jenner right now has got the two Thunderbolt 10s, is we take them off the Jenner and put SRMs on the Jenner's arms. If we can find some dead fire ammo, that would be great. And then the Centurion, because we have three missile hard points, I put the Thunderbolt 15 and the two Thunderbolt 10s on this guy and pull off the auto cannon. And then, because the Thunderbolt 10 will do the same pinpoint damage and it's a plus one accuracy weapon, I know I'm putting it in the torso, but we'll have the two other plus one accuracy weapons to, to follow up with it. So that's a possibility. We'll look at that for next time, I think. Um, we need a little bit of cash to play with, I think, before we go ahead and do that. But let's look at the uh, navigation map here and see if there's anything that's 10 turns away. I don't think so, though. I don't. Oh, there's one here, nine days away. Perfect. We're going. Let's do this. Calculating course now, Commander. So if we can find a good pilot there, that'd be great. I like, I'm looking for a pilot that's got... Um, you know, better store um, prices, and also someone who could be a technician, which give us meta, better mech bay times. Um, that's always handy. Even if it's just one tech, plus one tech, that's great.
Okay. I still love the animations here. These, uh, I think they did a marvelous job. So hats off to the Battletech uh, people for the animations. Um, crew's ready for the next job. Cool. So we got four days before we're there. And Hickory's out of action. So she was our primarily our scout. So let's see if we can find someone else that we can just sort of... Let's continue. Let's have a look at the hiring hall. See who we got here. We got Desert Eagle, 18, Recoil, 99, Pirate Recruit, Chance to Steal from the Company, Spacer, Reduce Maintenance Costs. Uh, I don't know if we want a pirate. Well, what's he really going to steal? But he's got a chance to find good uh, specials of black market system, so that's a, that's a possibility. Receiving you. And just a regular commoner, another commoner. And Whisper we don't want. So let's go with Recoil. Um, yeah, let's hire him. 9-9. Nine, nine. I mean, what, you know, for ten grand a month, you can't really go wrong. So let's hire this guy. New mech warriors if he ends up being crappy, then, you know, we'll just have to put up with it. So let's go to the mech warriors real quick. And let's get this guy a uniform. Good to go. All right, let's get you a uniform. Uh... Yeah, we're going this way. Lighting two. Here we go. So there's your uniform, buddy. Commander. What's up, boss? So Pylon's got a little, a little bit more XP. So we're gonna increase his gunnery. Uh, I want to be, you know, get that multi-target in on him. That's gonna be a bonus. I don't think we have anything ready for cold metal yet. Nope. And yes, Behemoth, we can now probably flush out at some point. Um, we're still going to need to keep her around for a little bit longer, I think, until we find one more good pilot. Um, but I think, she obviously, she's going to be the one to go, because like I said, we were going to be removing all of the uh, initial pilots. We're just using her until we can find somebody better. All right, so I think we'll end the episode right there, because the next time when we come back, we'll be able to pull off some contracts, or a contract here, before the end of the month, which is great. And hopefully we can get some good cash out of it, because I want to be able to play around with some builds. I want to try and uh, fix up that Centurion and perhaps fi re reconfigure the Genera a little bit. So, you know, if you liked the video, please uh, leave a like and always feel free to comment. I always love hear hearing uh, what, what, what people have to say. And feel free to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. So, yeah, until next time, I'll see you all later.